7 amazing historical facts you never knew. Paul Revere never actually shouted, the British are coming. While everyone knows the story of Revere's famous ride, in which he was said to have warned colonial militia of the approaching enemy by yelling the British are coming. This is actually false. According to History.com, the operation was meant to be quiet and stealthy since British troops were hiding out in the Massachusetts countryside. Also, colonial Americans still considered themselves to be British. Turkeys were once worshipped like gods. While the turkey is currently America's favorite part of the Thanksgiving meal, in 300 BC, these big birds were heralded by the Mayan people as vessels of the gods and were honored as such, so much so that they were domesticated to have roles in religious rites. They were symbols of power and prestige and can be found everywhere in Mayer iconography and archaeology. The Olympics used to award medals for art. From 1912 to 1948, the Olympic Games held competitions in the fine arts. Medals were given for literature, architecture, sculpture, painting, and music. Naturally, the art created was required to be Olympic-themed. According to the founder of the modern Olympics, Piri Frady, the addition of the arts was necessary because the ancient Greeks used to hold art festivals alongside the Games. Before the art events were eventually removed, 151 medals were awarded. Before going further, you can support our work by joining our Patreon, from the link in the description, starting only from $3 a month, which provides exclusive perks. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. One time, 100 imposters claimed to be Mary Antoinette's dead son. After the French Revolution, 8-year-old Louis XVII was imprisoned and then never seen in public ever again. His parents were executed in 1793 and, afterward, he was horrifically abused, neglected, and left isolated in a prison cell in the Paris Temple. In 1795, he died of tuberculosis at 10 years old. His body was buried in secret in a mass grave. Years later, dozens of men came forward claiming to be him because a bourbon restoration was a possibility and a successful claimant could then potentially find himself on the throne of France. Napoleon was once attacked by a horde of bunnies. Once upon a time, the famous conqueror Napoleon Bonaparte was attacked by bunnies. The emperor had requested that a rabbit hunt be arranged for himself and his men. His chief of staff set it up and had men round up reportedly 3,000 rabbits for the occasion. When the rabbits were released from their cages, the hunt was ready to go. At least that was the plan. But the bunnies charged toward Bonaparte and his men in a viscous and unstoppable onslaught. And we were taught that Waterloo was the conqueror's greatest defeat. Women were once banned from smoking in public. In 1908, New Yorker Katie Mulcahy was arrested for striking a match against a wall and lighting a cigarette with it. Why? Because this was a violation of the Sullivan Ordinance, a city law banning women, and only women, from smoking in public. During her hearing at the district court, Mulcahy argued about her rights to smoke cigarettes in public. She was fined $5. Two weeks later, the Sullivan Ordinance was vetoed by New York City's mayor. The government literally poisoned alcohol during Prohibition. During Prohibition in the United States, the US government literally poisoned alcohol. When people continued to consume alcohol despite its banning, law officials got frustrated and decided to try a different kind of deterrent death. They ordered the poisoning of industrial alcohols manufactured in the US, which were products regularly stolen bootleggers. By the end of Prohibition in 1933, the federal poisoning program is estimated to have killed at least 10,000 people 